Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about terminal history. So when we use any device like if I drag and drop here maybe router here and uh, let's start this router. So when we uh, configure a router or a switch we use different commands and uh, once we have used these different commands they stay or they are saved in some history on those uh, router and switches and if you want to see that what kind of commands we have previously used so we have some commands so yes this is getting this is ready so we say no yes sorry for that so now our router is ready to show you that so yes i was discussing that yes whatever commands we use in router or switch they are saved in some history there in the router and if you want to see that uh, commands which we previously used then we have a command that is called show history so with the help of show history we can use we can see all the previous command which we have used on the router so for example now if we go to privilege mode and here if I use some command let's say show show let's say running config and then if I use let's say show startup configuration maybe and maybe if I use some other command let's say show IP interface brief so now I have used these all commands and now if I want to see that what commands have been used by me previously I can simply uh, press up arrow key so you can see this shows up arrow key and if I want to see uh, the I mean I can also use the down arrow key to see all the previously used command but let's say if I want to see all of the commands at once then we have a command that is show history and if I use this command it will show me all of the commands which I have used till now yeah, so these all previously come on if you remember i used enable show running config show startup config show ip interface and show history these are the commands which i have used and now it means the router is saving these all commands in some buffer and that buffer has some size has some limitations and we can configure at a time that how many lines we want this router to save for the previously used configurations. At the moment, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. Five commands or the five lines have been saved in the history. And if you want to see that how many lines it can save at this moment means how many lines uh, um, are reserved to save the previously used command at the moment in this router. So we can see this using show terminal command and in the show terminal command we have here it says that history is enabled history is enabled and history size is 10 it means at the moment the configuration is uh, like that it will sh it will save 10 commands in its history so we can actually if we just press tab we can configure this history size or the buffer size to save these previous com commands and for that we have uh, a, a command that is terminal and history so we go here in this terminal and we say history and then we put question mark so it said history size so now we have to give size terminal history size and then again if you use question mark it will give you give you the options that how much buffer size or history size is possible so it says that this goes from 0 to 256 so let's say we can say we want to save let's say 50 lines or we want to save 50 commands in the history so we can use this command and uh, now whatever command we use here let's say maybe we can say show flash let's say and this way we, we can use other commands as well and so we keep using commands and those all commands will be saved in the history until it reaches its limit and that limit we have set is 50 and now again if you want to see those all commands we can use show history command yes and yes sometimes uh, we we also want that there should not be any buffer size um, allocated for saving these all commands and this case maybe we can use this terminal history and size and we can say maybe zero so when we use this it means after this whatever command we use here it will not show us the previous command so let's say verified show history press enter and you can see it is not showing any previously command used command in the, in the router 
So this is because we said this size is equal to zero. So that was a short video because I got some questions on this show history and uh, how to set this history size in Cisco Packet Tracer. So I hope this might be helpful for some of you and thank you. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in some other video. Thanks.